Stephen Tulsa County's interim sheriff will only serve in office for 65 more days. And today, Michelle Robinette talked with reporters for the first time in her new role. She told Two Works For You reporter Joe Hinkey, even though her time in office will be brief, she's making sure the agency follows its own policies once again. Joe? Well, Brian, not only follows its own policies, but also follows this list of eight recommendations a grand jury handed the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office behind me back in September. After Stanley Glanz resigned in November and Rick Weigel retired in January, this week Michelle Robinette became the third Tulsa County Sheriff in four months. Today, she says she stands by the office's deputies after months of constant change. Morale is based on stability of the office. Morale is based on, on certainty of what's going to happen. And, and for me, for the next 65 days, that's what I'm going to try and maintain is the get us to a stable place as employees. And as she supports the office's deputies as sheriff, Robinette says she is working to closely follow a Tulsa County grand jury's eight recommendations. The internal affairs unit was one of the recommendations that has been completed. Um, we've restructured it, replaced it, moved it so that it is not under the constant control, only control of the inner sheriff now. It, it, it's more autonomous. The sheriff's office also overhauling its record keeping after discoveries of incomplete or missing training records following the shooting death of Eric Harris last year. And TCSO is also working to let anyone communicate with the office's administration. We've opened up uh, an anonymous tip line for employees as well as individuals, citizens from, from the county. After Glenn stepped down after 27 years as sheriff and several other TCSO administrators left office, Robinette says she understands if the public's trust is gone. There were issues in administration, absolutely, that's come out, that's why we're where we are. Question the administration, but don't question the loyalty and the dedication of the people that are still doing the job. And in addition to these grand jury recommendations, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is also expecting later this month to receive an external audit of the office itself and also its reserve deputy program. I'm told some of that audit should overlap with the grand jury recommendations. Anything else in that audit will just help further shape the future of the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live downtown, Joe Hinkey, Two Works For You.